Welcome to Monday Morning Video on Warrior 613. I'm Jason. Um, was almost finished with this video and completely cut out and lost everything. Uh, but that's fine uh, because I always view that as that was a subpar one and I was being saved on that one. So um, getting ready to, uh, in the process of changing out uh, from the, I had somebody ask me what type of tires I use on my chair. Um, I've got everyday tires on here. I've got the Schwalbe uh, Evolution Marathon Marathon Evolution, um, which they've been very good. But I'm trying out um, the Schwalbe. It'd be nice if I knew what they were called before I started doing this, wouldn't I? The Schwalbe Airborne, um, just because it sounds a little cooler. Uh, but the Schwalbe Airborne, uh, they're about the same price, uh, but these are the ones, they've got a little more give in them, a little wider, and um, it's the ones that, uh, uh, God, I forget his name now, the guy that uh, completed a bike flip um, and just got a Hot Wheels with his chair, um, he uses those, so I figure if they're good enough for him, I'm going to give them a try, but they are... Um, Tires to put on a, a wheelchair wheel, if they're good ones, are incredibly tough. So I gotta let those sit out and stretch so they'll, they'll form a little better. Um, so sorry to, uh, if, uh, if you're not in a wheelchair, that was not for you, uh, but I figured I'd address that question while I had them, uh, had them in my hand. Um, so welcome today. Uh, during this time, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the time of year we're in. Uh, and, and something that I think we, we miss uh, during this time. Um, if you hear any singing in the background, I've got two girls uh, that are putting, uh, putting a Christmas tree up because I have a standard uh, rule that if you put my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving is over, I will um, take it and throw it outside. Um, so we don't put it up until after Thanksgiving. I really don't care. I don't need uh, comments. I'm not a, not attacking you. If you do, go for it. I don't care if you leave it up all year. Uh, but we are not putting ours up until until Thanksgiving is over. So uh, wanted to talk. So as we get into the holidays, there's a lot of things, and that was you know really one of them. Trying to to illustrate a point is. We have a lot of opportunities during these times. Um, Christians especially, uh, or Christians uh, like to reference the reason for the season uh, and understanding and remembering why we celebrate Christmas, the birth of Jesus. And But we get caught up in little things, little arguments about when do you put your Christmas tree up or when do you take your Christmas lights down, you know. Uh, you've got some that'll leave Christmas lights up year round Go for it. It's great. Um, but uh, we take ours down sometime between January 1st and March 15th, whenever we get around to it. Uh, but, but we find ourselves uh, entrenched, and usually it, it's playful banter, uh, but distracts us from opportunities we have when we're talking with people. Um, the other thing that, that I encourage you is I have, um, we talk about, focus. Um, I have, have some people that reach out to me and we've been talking about focus. Uh, and I've had, I've had some, a couple that, that are not um, uh, in a wheelchair or have any, any uh, disease that they're aware of and it, that affects them. And they'll say, well, how do you stay focused when you have to deal with a disease um, like MS that really affects how your body operates? Um, not as many. I've referenced this before. Um, n not, uh, I am in the minority uh, for people with MS in a wheelchair. Um, I am in uh, the minority uh, of gender, about one in four guys. So um, it, it's really, it's affected me um, in visible ways. It has not affected me in ways uh, that many people uh, do experience. Um, it has not affected uh, my ability to, to speak. Um, some are hoping that'll go away quickly. Uh, it has not affected my memory. Um, I was born with a, a very good memory and it has not touched that. 
um, and has not really touched some of those things uh, that allow me to, to, to get out and talk with people. Um, I can roll right up on them really quickly now. And, uh, but people that want to know how do you focus during that time, and I know I'm a little all over the place with this one, but there's a few things I wanted to talk, and I, I'm trying to keep it to a certain time uh, where people can really hit these videos and get out. Um, but that's something that I have to, I have to, it, it makes me come back and think about it all the time uh, because I never know, okay, my legs started bouncing and I'm trying to go somewhere and it's bouncing off the footplate of my wheelchair. Um, I know that uh, sounds funny and it is quite frustrating when it happens. Um, and I have, to, I have to just stop and laugh sometimes. Um, and that's usually the thing that'll make it stop. Um, it's just relaxing, uh, you know, laughing at it. Understand, okay, great. Yeah, this is happening again. Um, I used to get very mad at it. Um, and the worst thing you can do is get mad at it or bounce even more. I was almost kicking myself in the face at, at times. But I have to address it uh, when it comes up. I have to remember this is what you have to do to get where you want to go. Um, and so I don't have as many problems staying focused um, when dealing with something that um, that many people don't have to deal with on a daily basis as far as just getting around. That's not to say mine's tougher than yours because who knows, uh, we're, we're never in each other's uh, actual shoes. Um, mine are less worn on the bottom, uh, but you know, it's one of those things that I'm appreciative of that because I can be very distracted if I'm not constantly being brought back into focus, not being brought right back to the center line. Um, and so I, I was just talking with a few people and just said, look, well, you know, my biggest thing is, you know, this time of year, we have a wonderful opportunity in that a lot of people are softer to listening, listening about, uh, about Christ uh, because the time when he was born and uh, they may not be looking at it from a spiritual standpoint. They may be looking at it from a historical spec historical perspective and um, they may recognize that that Jesus was here on earth uh, for time but they don't necessarily recognize him as the Son of God um, and it's an opportunity that we can bring back in that to, to tell a story of his grace his mercy his truth um, and his the fact that he is our Savior our Lord and Savior and we get distracted way too many times during this part of the, the year because we have so much to do. Um, you know, it's great. Um, the internet allows us to connect like this. Uh, the internet allows, allows us to connect, um, you know, a lot of different ways now. And now we're going from place to place. And we're, ext I, I'm, Consider yourself extremely blessed if you have multiple places to get to for Christmas because um, there are many people that don't and we need to we need to recognize that there are always opportunities uh, with those that we love with those that we get to see all of the time that may not um, exactly understand who uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is so we're constantly going and by the time we realize we've seen a lot of people we've had no interaction with them because even now we're going to a family's there's maybe eight nine people there uh, then you're trying to watch the clock so you can get out and go to the next place and there's another 12 people there and during this time we're also facetiming in people that uh, we don't get to see from other places and there's a lot of busyness, but we don't sit down and stop and talk. Uh, so I just encourage you this year um, to, to slow down. Um, there's a lot of traveling. There's a lot of interaction that can, that can happen um, as you're going. You'll see people in gas stations. You'll see people um, you know, stopping at rest stops. Um, there's always opportunities. Um, and you don't, have to, you don't have to sit outside of a rest stop uh, with your Bible and you know, beat on cars with it. That's not what I'm saying. But an intentional and sincere, um, uh, an intentional and just sincere gesture can can lead to conversations many times, and some that some that will 
go much deeper than anything that you've had um, at times. So I just encourage you to um, slow down. Uh, slow down and focus. Just bring yourself back to center more often. So love you all. Have a great day, great week. Um, enjoy uh, getting started. Apologize if I've offended you. Um, if you put your tree up in you know, August, um, there's probably somebody you can talk to about that, but I hope you um, keep it fluffed and I hope it looks great uh, for your, your Christmas um, festivities. So remember, um, Jesus is the reason for the season. I know that's a very, um, a very uh, cliched saying, um, and it's almost gotten to the, uh, to the point, uh, much as the Lord's Prayer, uh, where we say it, and we never think about what it means. But if you think about the, the impact that that statement has on our lives, that is... That's it. That's uh, that's uh, why we have eternity. Why we can't have eternity, uh, because Jesus was was born on that day and came to die for our sins. Thirty three years later, is the only reason that we have hope. And so, reach out to me um, if you want to know more. Um, I'll shoot you my cell phone number, but it's Jason. It's not Jason at warrior613.com anymore. Um, had some, some issues, uh, switched some stuff over to a different thing. So jason.warrior613 at gmail.com. Uh, not going to get caught up in having to switch that over. I want to keep the same one. So jason.warrior613 at gmail.com. Um, I'll shoot you my number. We can have, have a conversation if you want to know more about that. Um, so, and uh, it's probably why I needed to record this video again. I did it, didn't uh, um, expand on the opportunity to, to further talk about that story. So, love you all. Have a great week, and uh, see you soon.